All right. Here. Let's do this. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's been a long time. I I know. I know. A little too long. I did not plan on being on that long in between streams. Things happen, but it's all right. We're here now. We're gonna make do with what we had to deal with. So let's get our introductions in order. How is everybody today? It's Wednesday. I know it's been a while since we've done this, but it's a variety day, so I get to choose what we want to do. And since it's been a little bit, I'm gonna ease myself in. I'm gonna do something familiar. Twist, which is the plan today. But on a note, I hope everyone's been well in their time away. Probably still here in the remnants a little bit, and I'm going towards at least once we start gameplay. But uh, if it wasn't obvious why I hadn't come back as soon as I wanted to, uh, illness, illness was kind of the reason. So no, I don't really get to explain these things because I don't have any any place to put updates and stuff. Notice that I'm about doing it on Twitter today, but considering what's going on on that sinking ship right now, I don't know. The ship is shaking again for a different reason this time, as it seems to have always found another reason to do so. And it's not looking great, honestly. But what can you do? Should I give myself a bit more time here? game seems to be okay, so we are going to uh, switch over. Oh, oh yeah. We're doing Sonic 3 Air! When I said I was doing something, something. But there is a bit of a twist. I don't know if we're coming in the background already, but I'll at least reveal that before we get started. For the most part, this is gonna seem normal. I wanted to do something simple today, something to ease me in. Oh well, I might give it away. Sonic 3 Air. For those of you who are not familiar with Sonic 3 Air, this is basically a modern decompilation of Sonic 3 Knuckles that uh, takes the ROM and does a lot of quality of life in the think of it. But it is also incredibly easily moddable. Shown by the style of order. Uh, let just give it away. Uh, the twist is that I was going to turn on Stone 3 Air, which is a mod that changes things up and uh, adds Agent Stone from the movies into the game and changes a couple bosses and the like. So, uh, that'll be uh, keeping us on our toes today as we go through what otherwise would normally be Sonic 3. Which is a game I've played uh, countless times, I'll say. Because while it's not my favorite in the series, it is one I can go back to easily. Normally, it is through with Sonic 3 Air, but... That's kind of what we'll be dealing with today. 
So, when I said it was going to be something simple, but with a twist, I literally meant something simple with a twist. By the way, uh, before we get started, shall we? Well, I argue that would be easy, but I don't know how I feel about doing a knuckles run. That should be my upcoming three air run, but Ah, okay. Uh, thank you, Silver. Also hello. Ah, we'll just do it. Box and Tonic and Tails run. I mean, things are gonna be different anyway. So. Let's just get started, shall we? But, I do love this for Sonic 3 and Knuckles because this is something that is very easily customizable. It has a ton of music options, the quality of, quality of light changes, things you can, uh. change at your leisure. To give you what would, I guess, be. Your personally best Sonic 3 and Knuckles experience. One of the things that's added right here is adding the extended camera from Sonic CD. And I wish more games would add it because it is a very useful feature. But what does the extended camera do? Uh, if you start speeding up and you go fast enough, it will, uh... Another, okay. Thank you. Keep track of me and I'll add those up when I'm done. But yeah, what that does here is the city camera will, uh... <laughs> what the city camera does is, uh, it's from Sonic CD originally. If you go fast enough, it'll push the camera uh, let's do some of the, uh, opposite side so you can see more ahead of you. And that's something I wish more Sonic games did, because that is honestly very useful. Gives you more reaction time to things. Honestly, uh, I hope that I don't get thrown off by this, because I'm normally not doing this controller. My muscle memory, you hey, it's not here. That's a perfect for an emerald there. I had to keep it for a uh, normal Sonic 3 Knuckles player, by the way. I'm going to go for Super Emerald. Should be easy enough. I've played this game enough, this should still be possible. So I guess, uh, keep an eye on my progress. We'll check the save file when we're done. It should only take us about a normal stream time for a Wednesday, so, uh, I think we'll be okay. But yeah, this is a game I've still played countless times. Here's something different. Stone's not normally there, and there's normally not a cutscene there either. That's also awesome, there. However, these bonus stages are off standard, so, uh. Ah, whatever, I got a bubble sheet out of it. Go down here. Left here and get our uh, next giant ring for our next number. I don't know if I've ever explained this, but uh, I might actually uh, do not play blue here. a hot take of the community, I know, but I don't actually like these special stages too much. 
I actually think they're kind of overrated. We're fine challenge, but honestly, a lot of them get boring. Give me the half pipe any day. I'll take the half pipe. Thank you. For those of you who don't know how Blue Strength works, uh, it's a battle of wits, kind of. You have to have to move around and make sure uh, you're collecting all the Blue Spheres. And, uh, once you touch the blue sphere, it becomes red. And if it becomes red, you can't touch it anymore. But the thing about these blue spheres is that if you clear them in squares, they turn into rings. And those are the only ones to get continues in this game, which are important. But. Most of these aren't that bad. There are some, like. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's still a remnant of the sickness, so forgive me if I have to kind of catch myself on those, but... Uh, the normal ones aren't that bad, especially the ones early on, but it's the later ones that kind of get annoying. But, I don't actively like them too much, so... Keep the light machine. I know it's not gonna help against the boss that breathes fire, but. And there it goes. But, these bosses aren't too hard. These are mini bosses. Alright, the one done, and we already have two emeralds. Kind of standard fare. Yeah, probably back to my throat. I have a lot of history with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, played a lot on the Mega Collection. Well, more specifically, I liked Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the lock on game, was in there, but I didn't really have the temperance button to actually, you know, boot up each game X amount of times to unlock the lock on. But... Left together. It's the true Sonic 3 experience, and it's a game I think is still very well regarded and still holds itself up very well. It's probably still one of my favorites in the series. I'm gonna go back and forth whether I like this or Mania more, but I think that kind of speaks for itself on how highly regarded I think the game is. I do still think it is very choice and quality, and I do think it still holds itself up very well. Just for the time! There's a lot to this game, and even though it's more than 30 years old, I feel like you can still find a new thing to appreciate about this game every time you play it. That's why I think it holds up. I'm not gonna get the perfect here, but that's okay. I don't have to get the perfect on every. We just mainly need the emeralds. And now that's three! Count them! Three emeralds in Angel Island Zone! Play my cards right, we should leave with about four or five of them. Smart because as much as I played this game, I still don't know where all the locations are. I know enough of them that I'll still have it early, and even if things go wrong, I can kind of catch myself. So there is also a bit of a buffer. I just don't know all of them yet. It's kind of again. I'm learning this game a bit more because there is still a lot to this game. 
You never knew there was a life over here. I mean, not that I've never heard of your lies when fighting this game, but like... Well, we fall all the way back down. Oh! We're like right here! about this one. Gosh. Also, I'm gonna point out every time that Silver Gunner has ruined the song for me. Because every time I hear it, I'm expecting the theme of the friend to start playing. So, imagine you're gonna start up and then it turns into So no one told me life was gonna be this way! Clap, 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 clap. It's a curse. It's a curse now. It's a pity curse, but it's a curse of the all the things. I'm gonna be careful here, because this one I'm not exactly the most of my to lay out. Oh, well, I, I guess that was all of it, sure. I'm cool with that. As long as I get the emerald, that's all that matters. So, uh, alright, we got four now. Maybe I should start explaining why I was all that time. It's been about three weeks since my last stream. And I do apologize for that. I did not mean for that to be such a long break. And like, not all of it was for the same reason, some of it was different. Oh, this has changed, by the way. So I think Eric can do is make this harder on you, so you can actually have to do more. Normally you can just hold right and dodge whatever is happening here with the bombs, but Air defaultly makes that harder so you actually have to jump a couple of them. It's not too difficult if you know it's coming, but I can get more guard the time. Oh, right. The moment the bridge gets burned, it's gone. So, uh, we lost the life there. Our first. Sure, it happens. Sorry about that, I had to cough. But, uh... Eh, that's not that's the end of jump too. That's explaining why I was gone for so long. Uh, I went a bunch of different factors. Uh... That first Friday I was gone was... Electrical issues. That was dealing with a hurricane that day, and I had power outages. And the internet also caught up that night, so... I didn't want to, like... Risk doing anything there and having that stream get cut off, so I didn't, didn't stream that day. The Wednesday after that was just, I had no energy and I couldn't think of what to do that day. So, it just didn't happen then. And then, uh, the three series after that, uh, I felt sick. So, uh, 
No one wanted to be hearing me on stream because I was dealing with a cough, I was sneezing a lot. I was dejected and stuffed up, so... It was also going to be hard to breathe, so I was going to have to breathe in my mouth. That, uh, week and a half I was gone at the end there due to sickness was not a fun time. Like I said, I'm still not perfect. I'm still gonna deal with a bit of the rhythms. I still have a bit of a cough. But, as it's still drawn enough, right now, I am about at 95%. So, well enough to stream, well enough to start doing my normal routines. So, that's why we're back today. Again, I apologize for being gone so long and sunk being out of it. It sucked for you guys because I wasn't doing content and we're falling behind on things. It just didn't help my psyche any because we were just kind of sitting around and I started from playing catch up on things. There were things I could have done. Like, Sonic Hacking Contest kind of came and went while I was sick, and I wanted to do it, but... To be fair, that was kind of an option I was wearing doing today, but... I, I wanted to do something simpler to use myself back in for the first time back, so... That's why that didn't happen today. Again, I apologize for not telling you guys any of this. Or, uh... Give you any warning, because I didn't have anywhere to update you guys. I feel absolutely awful about being on as long as I was. It wasn't great, and I, I feel like, for those of you who actually do are, are around and do watch things, I owe you guys. Not that this is a job for me at this point in time, or whatever it be, but like... As much as I do this, for me, and it is a for me thing, it's why I started trying to do it. I feel like it matters to you guys too. I know this is me as entertainment. I also want to share my experiences with you guys, and I feel like that's important. The fact I couldn't do it for so long was kind of upsetting and a little bit... The claimant and the disillusion. I'm sorry about that. Genuinely. But I owe you guys. So, we're gonna try getting back into this one, I think. And I'll go more into that later about what possibly is gonna be happening here for the future. For the time being, I should be back, and we're going back to our normal routine, so. Hopefully we can adjust back into things, and I hope I can give you guys things to watch. So just hang with me for a bit. We'll get back to it. I remember that stage being a wall for me for a while, because of that opening segment. Twenty? I thought it was twenty-five. 
I don't know if I should be staying here. We can't get shield here, so... <laughs> you really don't know that we're worth it. I'll take the ten rings I got and leave. Ah, it's the shield. How I love you so much. You're such a usable mechanic, and I wish they'd bring you back. But, I don't know if we're getting that one. The, uh, collection for 2D Sonic of choice right now has kind of been the drop dash. Sure, I think that's a useful utility for Sonic. I feel like it's been overused, though. Like, I know you can probably call me out and say it's a blast it's a blast for this thing to say, but I actually genuinely think that drop dash is overrated. Like I said, I do think it's useful. But I do feel like it's become a bit of a crutch for Sonic Team. Because they feel the need to put in e use in everything, and I don't think they remember what made it useful and made it in the first place. I am Team Insta Shield. Give me the Insta Shield any day of the week. Could be not this one, but the next one. I have the hang left. I'll play my card right and get the life. Not leaving without that if it's not even here! Oh the way, this is air. I should have tail carried now. There we go. We're getting close to getting the last couple of animals, but I feel like we can start probably potentially giving up in nervous. Because when it comes to start knowing me, they start getting a bit more intricate. Uh, that's a little bit fearful. Oh, I'm missing two. Oh no, I missed two! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Crack to the murder. I was worried there for a second. Oh, my throat there a bit. Make sure I'm hard to get properly. So far, so good. We got six. One more emerald to go.
Alright, yeah. Oh, uh, bye, Tails. Also, ow. I do genuinely think this is one of the best 2D Sonic games and one of the best games in the series. And it's still one I think about fondly. And at least through 3 Air, I kind of go back to play it every year. Hey, because 3 Air makes it super accessible and easy to pick up. It's just because it's genuinely a good time still. a lot to like about this game. Ah, Tails, I need you. Alright, we do this correctly? We don't have to worry about this for the the task of the game. Specifically this time in the game, because we have to do it again once we get the buffer in the world. That's not too difficult. of the drop dash gets what we just unlocked. The gosh darn drop dash. Supersonic this early. I get him in Marble Garden, but I'll take him getting him in Act early. Speaking of which, I should be able to transform now, so, uh. Well, not now. I gotta have a shield on. But... Most of my muscle memory has still been retained even after all this time, so I know where most of them are at. 
Hi Knuckles. Hi Knuckles. And then the watch is Eggman goes to Tavik like and Chump because Super Sonic works every and all bosses. Different yet? I'm curious when we do start seeing anything different. Another thing I'm not used to, used to finding, so. Discovering secrets today. Then with that one, I don't really don't find that ring either. Well, that's different. Before made you a joke, you are actually a threat in this game. I argue this game is still very much still a pioneer of 2D Sonic experience. That's not much right. Wake me? It's a KD. You have the alternate pouch for Tails and Knuckles. It's not good by the Chaos Emerald, but now to get the Also, uh, here's one of the things that I made for myself. Uh, I put it in the prototype team. Or at least what we think is the prototype Super Sonic 3 is the prototype. I just think it's a good song, it's very fitting. A lot of body of life in the air will probably be around the music, but I'm sure you can make it. I'm glad that's one of them. Again, this is a very versatile thing, and it's easy to pick up and cut off. Which is why I like it so much. I feel like this is more useful than Sonic 3 than Origins is. Origins is an efficient way to do it, but this is a free option that has useful features of me. And I will still recommend this. Again, I don't chastise anyone who picks the courage. It's a person who wants to support them. I've got to deal with the normal stuff in Marvel Dark Knight 2, which is, uh, dealing with the stage crumbling every so often. Oh, 
accidentally also landed on the real spikes, which is bad. Poor fire shield never took a chance. Oh wait, don't want the fire shield up there, darn it. Oh well. Normally I can keep my wits about me and I'm good enough to at least not get caught, but hey, you never know what something might go a little bit over the ride. Good point. Ah, bubbles. Guard's a good song. And you know, this gets beaten over death a lot. I am kinda happy we got what we got for Sonic Heroes in Elite. Like, as much as Michael Jackson didn't want to really play his name on this, he didn't exactly make good music. Talked about to this day. Sorry about the problem. Come on, baby, one more ring and I can do this boss easier. So long as we also don't die. Let me give you a quick shout out here. His sharks, huh? You have to deal with the Zora today? Your favorite Switch Zelda? Well, I guess it is a more traditional Zelda versus Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't played too many of them, but... I don't think you're having a good time with the Switch. We'll put the Gerudo first. Okay. Oh, well, great. Now I'm dealing with this boss with no rings. Uh... And then I died. Uh, but thank you for the rate, man. Uh, thank you for those coming from Ben's Rage. For those of you who don't know me, I am Icy. I am a small time variety streamer. Uh, it's Wednesday here, so uh, this is our variety day where we pick and choose. Uh, I've been gone for the last three weeks. Mostly because I had been sick. So I decided to ease into this. Uh, I'm doing Sonic 3 Air, but there's a bit of a twist here. We're using a mod. So, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but there's a big difference. 
We haven't seen too many of those differences yet, but we're gonna beat the entire game, so, um, we'll get there in time. To be fair, I don't know all the differences, but I haven't seen the fun full yet. But that's why I wanted to do it today, so. I have a lot of hit through with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is why I went kind of okay with doing this today, even with the twist. So... Up here's the chain! The air, though. Uh, air at some point a while ago added the, uh, prototype tracks. And I actually think prototype Carnival Night is better than the actual song in the game! So, uh, we'll have prototype Carnival Night. Again, for those of you who don't know what Sonic 3 Air it is, it is a modern decomp for Sonic 3 and Knuckles that uses minor releases to add a lot of quality life changes in the life. So you can customize the soundtrack to your liking, you can add a ton of different gameplay settings. It's really useful. It's my recommended way to play Sonic 3 nowadays. I argue it makes it really easy to pick up the play. I usually go back to this like once a year. So. And there are a bunch of like mods for this, and they're really useful, which we're using one today. Not that we've seen too many changes from it yet, but look at that. Did all that to go in a circle, huh? Like I said, my knowledge of this game was good. It's not perfect. I see that special ring over there. Now, technically, we don't have to get any more because we have all seven emeralds, but sometimes I just kind of want the extra rings. I've already collected all the emeralds, finding a big ring gives us 50 rings. It'll be useful for A, super transformations. But... It's like, okay, it's 50 rings, that's half a life! Well, that's are useful. Me down in, uh, normally unbeaten uh, that's okay, we're still here. Now, uh, normally, this boss is a time waster, and I argue it probably still is. That's for me, it's this boss. Because this is a boss you can't really attack on your own. Oh gosh, not even Super Sonic can attack me.
Come on! One of this boss also doesn't take this long. Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> well, it's kind of running out of real estate there, though. Just bad luck. Good thing we had like 18 lives. So bad about the 200 plus rings I lost, though. Alright, here we go. Act two. Start re reeling or something. too much of it these days, but one thing I did turn on is, uh, extended camera, which, again, is originally from Sonic CD. But what this does for this game is that if you go fast enough, it'll shift the camera. It lets you see more of what's ahead of you. Something I wish more normal Sonic games would do on their own, but... A lot of fan games have started doing it, so... I'm at least glad it is also an option in this game. Who needs the cannon? Now, tell me if you heard this story before Heralds. Because they definitely should be out when I was a kid, too. Not knowing that you just have to press up and down to actually get them to do something. The amount of time overs I've gotten in Carnival Night Zone as a kid. I've gotten so many. Oh, thanks for life, but we're not staying here. Thanks for uh, turning the lights out, Knuckles. Sonic or Tails is progress at all, but why does Knuckles do this? Now normally we have to deal with the water bubbles, but... Water Shield has kind of made it a non-issue, so...
Crushing you in weird places is not so really one of them. This is normally why I would time over that barrel right there, but... Again, I've gotten older, I've gotten wiser. So we know how to do things. Okay, that was a weird interaction. I love this game. This game is far from perfect. Screw this boss! I freaking hate this boss! No, we're just gonna cheese it! I have the beans! I'm actually indifferent to which version I think is better than the two. Let's go with the normal one, because, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it with some hard times. So, uh, why not just play some hard times? It's, it's a beautiful reference. Ah, uh, no one's probably gotten that, but I'm not sure die hard. Time chat. What's your favorite elemental shield? Is it the lightning shield that lets you double jump? Is it the fire shield that lets you air dash? Is it the bubble shield which lets you breathe in the water and get the out? What's your favorite shield? I missed my ride, might as well. Alright, let's do it right this time.
one of these, one of these has fight. And we're cheating this boss because I hate this one too! Screw that boss! That's a time waster! I'm kind of curious why they wouldn't let me jump for a second there. Alright, we got through that. Okay! Now oh, whatever, we don't need to go on the high path. Sometimes it's nice, but sometimes you don't have to. Man, the ramps are just breaking today. Like I said, I love this game. It's not perfect. Nah! My lightning shield! I mean, off of my life, but mainly my lightning shield. When was the last time I died there? Been a bit. machine when I'm hitting these. I know the color of the dark but to tell you what you're getting. I do find it funny that every time I've landed there I've gotten a problem. It bailed out! It was no fuck that! Right in the monitor, it's not dangerous! I'm surprised it wouldn't let me jump there. A little unfortunate, actually. Do I have enough room to cheese the boss? I'm gonna have to fight this one legit. Especially if I'm starting to do that. Oh man, I gotta fight this one legit. Like cheating that one. But we're almost done with the first half of that. Right. 
I'll never replace this with the prototype music. This music is so good. Prototype watch bait? Like, yeah, you knew it was the final bone and it sounds like it. But like... It sounds so much better. It's so much more gay. Now we've gotten to the point of the game where my ring count doesn't want to stay as high. I mean, we've gotten the lives, we'll be fine, but like... Yes, I'm not grabbing that. I think I have to do this again. Trying to keep an eye on that projectile and finally we did it. There you are, Stone. I'm wondering if we're gonna start finally seeing the changes that this month is looking at. Hi, Knuckles. Actually, I probably should have taken it that wrong. I could have used the ring. I'm not used to normally finding this block with it, but I kind of have to. I was about to go flying off this thing, and that would have been really funny. Oh, 
towards the closing of the I guess, I mean, end of the first half of this game. How are we feeling? How are we feeling, chat? Got anything interesting? How's your day going? Hopefully you're having a good time enjoying your thoughts here. Oh! This is my first time getting the gumball machine this run! I should have met! I should have met! No! There's water in this stage! This thing's not gonna last! Bring this stage! And it's gone. I was definitely not trying to get hit there, so... A little preemptive, but... Might have been this What if I didn't want to turn off one Phase 2? I'm at least okay with this, because this thing still rocks. Oh, I forgot I went left. I thought that one went right. Well, now I won't have to worry about drowning. But normally they're supposed to be a boss there! <laughs> Hi Knuckles. Hi Knuckles. Does this thing flash like it took damage? That's concerning. Oh, is this the original bump? <laughs> oh, this is what Stone 3 Air adds, huh? Straight up die, like, you know what I mean, take the real one, it's just an instant kill. That's kind of bad considering nothing takes a free hit on you.
go really back at the ring, there were two bosses after this. And I just lost like a hundred rings and the shield. So, uh, that's not really great. Any process, I guess, for figuring this one out. Don't let me know if the lives are there. It also seems like I don't take at least physical damage in this thing. I can't hit the shield in the thing. Also concerned, I think you have to check the man, do you not?
Perfect. Not only do you have to be perfect, it looks like you have to get a free hit somewhere. Oh! Okay, I see what you have to do now. You have to pay it. Okay, I should have caught the background a little bit more because I thought he was back there, but I didn't know what he was doing. That becomes a bit more clear and this boss is no longer an issue. Now that I understand that, I don't think this boss is as bad as it could have been, but it needs more explanation. Hi Tails, nice to join us. No freaking have to fight this boss though. Not die. sure, yeah, I still also have to fight big arms to get air. Normally, if this was just normal Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic and Tails would not have to fight this. But because it's air... That ring back, which is unfortunate. Ah, and I was right. We start back at the check, so we do have to fight it again. It's not a big deal now that I know what to do. It's still a 
a lot of bosses you have to fight back to back. I won it a challenge. And I'm definitely getting one one way or another. Oh my god, do you want to talk? Great, that was fucking like big arms with no rings. Don't fail me now. Normally that's a free hit you can take too, but... No! I got caught! I think I've gotten hit by that specific enemy like every time. Mm -hmm. Someone keeping track of how many lives we had when we got to that checkpoint? I feel like we had like what, 22? So I've got like four or five times. Guys, you can't be serious! You're taking candy from a baby! Fine by me! Hi, Yuna! How was your stream? How are things going? I'll get you a shout out here in a second. I've been struggling. Uh. 
Hi, those of you who are this raid. For those of you who do not know me, I am ICA, I am a small time variety streamer. Uh, today's Wednesday, it's a variety day. We're good, bit of shadow, that's good. Uh, today I wanted to do something light, because I've been gone for three weeks, mostly because I was sick. But, uh, we've been doing Sonic 3 Air with the twists. Kinda came in on one, because I was fighting Agent Stone, and that's what the mod is. We kind of been walled here for a little bit, because I didn't understand how that boss worked at first. And then I've also had to fight other bosses, the normal bosses here, including Big Arm. So, we losing kind of a little bit of lives here, but. I think we'll be doing it here. But thank you for the raid. So it's not like you finish out though, and then you've done all the endings and then got the last story too, is that correct? The reason I've been gone for streaming for so long is mainly because I was sick for most of it, and... Only well, got half of the most stream. Okay, makes sense. Yes, I've been gone for a little bit. Most of it was because I was sick, and you can kind of still hear it in my voice a little bit. I got a bit of a cough, but I'm about 95%, so... I was full with streaming again. I wanted to start with something light, so... Why we've been doing this today. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is the game I'm familiar with, even with I'm adding the twist to it. We got all the chaos emotes and hydrocity act too. So and there goes the arm. Meaning with hey, we're finally done with the Sonic 3 half of the game. We're going to no, no, finally. But uh we've added a mod here with Stone 3 Air, which has been adding some stuff. We got to find a new boss, which was kind of unfamiliar. But now we're going to the other half of the game to see what's new. Because, to this point, I didn't know everything that was in this mod, so we're kind of taking that journey together. But it's still mostly Sonic, it's still mostly Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh, we made it. Here's Mushroom Hill. Meaning, uh, I'm giving up Super Sonic for this, because we're going for the Super Emeralds, too. This one's probably going to be more difficult, because I haven't done this in a while, and I'm already struggling with getting the Super Emeralds, so... What are you here? Get blasted, idiot! So, hitting the Super Emeralds are harder than just hitting the normal K as much, because these are the ones from Sonic and Knuckles, so they're a bit more intricate. And because of that, they're also a bit unfamiliar, so I don't know the story behind all of them. So it is very likely these take a couple of attempts depending on which emerald they are. And it is very likely we fail some of these. So bear with me. Uh, definitely not going to be perfect. Uh, we really don't have to worry about the final zones being unlocked because we've already done that. So. Oh my gosh, how many rings are in this thing? Goodness gracious. Okay, 
Okay, don't do that to me. That was fearful. Oh, wait, why a good chase? Just to figure out what's left. Okay, I was fearful for a second because I missed that one turn. Ugh. I know we don't really need continues because we're definitely A, not short on lives, and B, we're getting lives anyway because we're doing these, but like... Never go up, make me feel good, okay? Now, if I was good at this game... Uh, we can get all the Super Emeralds into Mushroom Hill alone. But hey, I don't know where all the ever all the relocations are, so that's not happening. And B, we're probably failing some. Just the fact that life with me, so. We'll see what this takes us, we'll see how many we get, or if we even get access to hypersonic. Normally, I have done it, not without guides, though. And I'm not gonna waste any more time by doing that, so, uh... We're doing this primarily on intuition! We'll see where it takes us. So bear with me. I know I say that a lot, but I genuinely mean it. Faith might slow a little bit, because I might get more explorative, but... Tails! You are coming back anytime soon, buddy? Time to need you! Alright. For a checkpoint. Oh, there is a ring up here. Well, we're doing them in order, so might as well. Oh, why this one? I hate this one. We're definitely not going for the perfect here. Oh, thank gosh. Oh, boy, that one's always nerve-wracking. <laughs> I've played this game enough that I feel like we can probably do this on intuition, but I'm also trying to give myself a buffer. It's not doubt. It's not doubt, the rolling in. Also the nervousness, but mainly the doubt. The more of them I get in Mushroom Hill, though, the better I'll feel. Definitely where I know the most of them are at.
forgot about that one. I think I actually knew about that one originally. Alright, let's go for this one. The number of the cult being so low is definitely leading me into a fucking journey, and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm actually a bit worried. I know I kind of do it as a showboating way for myself to prove I can do it, but we don't have to. I kind of have to remind myself, we don't have to. Or I can just get the perfect anyway. I mean, I'll take the life of the continue. Three of them. Here, it's up here. Never mind, that's just the life. I got trolled. So much for that flame shield. different. I wasn't expecting this boss to be one they gave up the smoke to. It's an interesting change for that boss.
So I think I think we got all the lives we lost back at launch base back. Wow. I'm thinking too early. I know which ring I'm thinking about. It's too early for that one. Now? Now we're not. Okay, so that's not the one I was thinking it was going to be. There's one I'm- there's one of these I'm absolutely dreading. There it is, there it is. why he jumped there. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Not perfect, but that's okay. Didn't need all the rings. I just needed the emeralds. That's five! Making progress. This is good because I don't think I'm gonna make too many hot dogs on Mushroom Hill. Wait, why did Tails go up but not me? Up there. I know there's one up there. This one I definitely have not forgotten. but it's definitely the one I'm dreading. And because I did that, meaning I already failed one. Alright, cool. Help, and I like to not waste any more of those chances. Those are valuable. Okay, don't scare me like that, Gabe. I would to lose like 50 rings there. That would have been bad. Okay, that's dope. That's a new one. Can't say I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Okay, so 
the goodness of Matt is here. The good news is that I can get the two pearls again in the five we got already saved. <laughs> The bad news is that we have to do the act over again, and I lost, like, all my lives that we earned those last two acts. Which isn't a big deal, I can earn more lives, those aren't more. I'm not expecting the game to crash there. Hopefully that was a one-time deal, otherwise I have to turn the mod off for at least one zone. Letting me pull my way through that, because I definitely should have gotten hit there. I don't think this is a neat addition to this mod. I think this one's really cool. Yeah, 
hopefully we get to this boss with like crashing. Let's let the boss itself crash it with the end of Axe Creek. Getting the cutscene done. Alright, there we go. Don't know why it crashed before. Whatever, we're doing with it now. Alright, so we're missing two emeralds. And I have no idea where any rings are in Titan Battery, so this might be a whole lot of nothing. Although the thumb's already off to a good start considering I've already gotten hit points. My game knowledge to the test now. I don't love wit. Sight that one was. Which of the fans that always makes me nervous? Whoa, I did that entire thing for 20 rings. Alright, so we don't work that heavy. I bet there is one up right here. Alright, Tails, lead my way to victory!
where this path goes, because I normally don't get up here. Okay, probably it's when I move, because I'm about to get crushed. Tails, you're flying me up there. Back to the gumball machine. She never knew there were ranks in there. Until now. And for some reason, there's a second lightning shield in there. find any flying battery, I kind of was serious about not finding any flying battery. Oh, 
actually never gone up here either. Okay. I'm gonna start getting a good floor too. I am looking for any and all bird coming right now. And, uh, coming up empty handed. So. That's just to know how this one is going. Hang on. Ah, oh, we saw the one. Exactly what I think you are, so let's go. I wasn't prepped for the speed up, meaning I failed this one too. Ah. It's just going to be the last two with it. Get 
god, Eggman! Enough of the vote, I like the leap! Stand up for it. wondering here, but chances are sparse, so don't expect too many. Well, I'm finding new things out, because these are things I definitely haven't known about in the past. What's up? Yeah, that was an awkward interaction. I don't feel like that should have ended with me getting crushed. That one was my own fault, though. I had no reason.
Alright, so let's not be a moron this time. But the last. Don't scare me like that game over. It's probably gonna get crushed there. I'm getting a bit worried about my chance for getting the other two super levels. Let's see what happens. I leave the location of one or two lavery, but I'd like to find more before then.
Uh, so we've unleashed the Pac-Man girls into the world. I'm having no luck finding it in here, this is my normal route. Man, I'll never find any on my normal route. Gotta run!
course they know how much. No good there. Alright, so I gotta find and succeed the operation. I know of at least a couple here. So, things go as normal, we should get them here, but that's if they go as normal. We are running out of two, so. It's starting to become make or break. Oh, I know why I'm thinking about what's up there. I'm thinking about Mania right now. Thank you. 
getting nervous here, so apologies for getting quiet. Then to do the eye here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. One more to go. And if my intuition were leaving me, I should have one or two more chances that I know of. Make sure not to blow them. There I go, take your mania again. Mania has one of them on me. What the memory is actually going to get me killed? Oh, 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 we did it. Okay, we're cool, we're cool, cool. We're done. <laughs> we got them all. This is about it. And now, the true reward for our efforts. Seven chaos emeralds plus seven super emeralds equals one hypersonic. <laughs> you got that supersonic with overpower, man. You haven't been hypersonic. That's up, 
beautiful reward for lock-on technology for giving you two sets of emeralds. Two sets of emeralds. It's something to behold. We'll talk about it when we actually get access to it. It's good now because we actually have the transformation on this side of the game now. I did the sad thing about going for the super emeralds. Once you actually go into that altar, you lose the chaos emeralds, so you lose the ability to transform into the super sonic. Until you get them all. It's not sad, but I think they'll reward the more than makes up for it. Well, we're kinda dangerous, but on next rate, so. So if you thought Supersonic was overpowered, you, my friend, have not met Hypersonic. On top of the normal ability Supersonic has, how would you like to be in perfect to drowning, as well as an 8 bear air dash that clicks with a green nuke? Hypersonic is one tough cookie. So that one's just a, a visual edit, which is fine. You're adding something. It counts. Now the lava cools. So I haven't failed in Lava Room Act 1. There's a ring or two I do know about here. Probably would have been like our last actual chance. So I'm at least kind of glad I have my buffer here. That's rude. Why would you put Eggman monitors down there? Platforms are always awkward, but they were cool graphically for the Genesis. You gotta stop me, game! I want the invincibility monitor to be here. Why can't I hear the air dash? I thought bubble shield here? Why? A bit of a troll move, actually, game.
Well, they pull that thug choice when they troll you with it both times. There's the ring. That's the one I did actually know about. area of their own number exactly sure where it is. This one's always kinda of off up in the top of the platform area. I'm not risking taking damage with this many rings. off because hybrid knuckles is like coming here and nothing happens. Nice the dots too if I didn't have hypers on it. I didn't near bullet hell this actually. They each have alternate attacks as well. That's a lot to memorize. Boss takes the theater aids, but not in the action. It's just a long way to go. Oh, at this point, we're getting close to end game. Couple of rooms left after this.
because there are little one acts out here in Hope Palace. More for the story driven part. It's pretty interesting once you actually get to see it. I can do something very stupid right now. It'll let me. Yep. That was gonna happen eventually. I guess they decided it wanted to be now because they figured I was gonna be cheap. I'm not leaving until either you force me out or I have 50. So we can do this the easy way or the hard way. We did this the hard way. Well, I got the 50 I needed, so. Sorry, Knuckles, you're going down. I worked for this! This is how we do things! Stolen. Oh no! What's that? Nothing is helping us now? Let the entire game antagonizes us. On to the next one, Exone. Sky Sanctuary! So, this would be the last note of the game if you were playing as Knuckles, which I haven't really done yet, and there's no reason for that, but... I'll probably get to it, we got a little more after. Also, shout out to me dying with no rings. Thankfully, this time you don't have to sit So let's not be stupid and do that again, even though we had 30 lives, but... It may only be a 1x zone, but Sack Ninja should also be a bit of a problem if you have let it be. Or we let that happen. Oh, well, that looks familiar. I do like this callback, though. And at least in air, you can change it to have the original boss you can play as well. I'm actually thinking about it. This is really the only time in the game Sonic and Tails can make a because this will fight them. But Sonic and Tails don't really do much on how to kill each other.
Also, interesting boss choice considering they went. You could use the Green Hill Zone boss and then decide it for Sonic. Sonic 2! Oh, look at Metropolis Zone! One of the hardest bosses in Sonic 2! know what that platform's purpose is. We're kinda there. Platform of Apple gets pretty precise here. You know what? I'm actually surprised I didn't count as a crush. Doppelganger of Sonic. This is just an early Tuesday. We got a short little cutscene here. Now where's that thing? the last major zone of the game. Also, if you didn't get your emeralds in the Sky Sanctuary, uh, I'm sorry to say, you're not gonna get any more chances. The last major zone of the game, we're almost done. This place is definitely a gauntlet. Other games have made it a gauntlet. Not to mention, there is one boss here I absolutely do not like! We'll get to that when we get to it. Which, admittedly, should be at the end of the task. so... This is to my advantage here. And there goes my white shield. No, it's still kind of nice seeing that they considering it was such a nothing zone in Sonic 2. Like, they wanted to make it a stage back then, but they didn't get to, and then they didn't get to fully realize it until this game. Why are you going backwards? Now if we had the lightning show right now, I could just be cheating all of them.
And that's partly why I like this game so much. With the elemental shoots, you have so many different options. Versatile this game is. And I think that's what I like about it. Why I wish more games would break back the elemental suit more often. It gives you more opportunities. And like, there are games that do, but don't use them to their fullest advantage. Like, there are generations, but you don't really get to use them much because you can't pick them up in the game itself. They're upgrades you have to buy. Lots won't have them, but I don't think they understood the purpose. Too bad, because I think it would have worked really well in a 3D game. It's for fourth to beat generations, but even worse. Hi, Red Eye. I hate this boss. I'm going to cheat this boss. Because screw this boss, it's annoying. For one, you can't hit it through those balls because they actually have hurt muscles, meaning they hurt you. Secondly, why does this boss have two phases? Thirdly, why does that laser exist? So no! Screw Red Eye! Why did they bring it back in Mania even if it's easier there? This boss freaking sucks! As Tail dies. Enter at two. Yeah. And I really think it's really cool to be able to lose it with this trilogy. Between the fact that Sonic 2 hit it, Nothing to be his own, and we just couldn't do it, and then they got the real ones here. And it's like a really good final zone gauntlet. A lot to like here. Also, the gimmick about it being anti grab is cool. As much as some people in the net like anti grab, I do, I do like the zone gimmicks as well. Good right now, I gave a checkpoint, actually. Right, 
Perfect. Come on, machine. I can get something out of that. I don't know a fire shield to play. But it's a play, I guess. Oh, we're at boss. Cool. Well, that's not an interesting. Sure, you can't hurt this boss. You have to use anti-gravity to get these enemies down and spit dash them either into the boss or get them crashing to me again. Unfortunately, I did not hold on to all those rings, so I can't cheat the play. It's a shame, because this is definitely where I can use one of the harder fights in the game. the wrong so I ended up dying from that. Also, uh, if you die here, you respawn here with no rings. So, good luck. Also, when the difficulty comes in. I was gifted my jump there because I kind of tapped it. That was a short hop. Not what I wanted. This is end game, by the way, so this is where all the challenge comes in. How did you die? Before there's a freak away yet! I don't know, it also helps if you stop dying so fast. I almost died there. 
Alright, here comes the other phase. One that's also kind of difficult. The floor could be my enemy here, so. And it almost was there. All right, final boss time. This is Doomsday Zone. So, this is only accessible to you if you manage to get all, at least all the chaos that will throw up here. This is the first time they hit this a little boss that was locked behind the chaos. It's certainly climactic back then. Basically, if you have the Chaos Emeralds, but don't get all the Super Emeralds, you still have access to this. So. So this is part kind of setting up for you to pull right here. It's not coming as many as you can, because you're not going to see many throughout the fight. Here comes the first part. Uh, not even Hypersonic can actually damage this high. You have to use the missile to damage this one. Down and you still need the damage it here. Hey, don't have for it. You have to deal with these missiles. And tapping him since you back. You have to ram him eight more times. Don't do anything in this power to stop you. That's going to anything that's not Eggman will slow you down. Time is not something that is on your side here. Be careful about what you hit and you should have this boss down. So we got to see a couple of new bosses and what other fun toys they were adding. It was interesting to see the new perspective of the game I've already played enough times. Let's see something new. It definitely added some challenge. It was good to see. Because we 
we have a master of over knuckles, and he looked all happy, but this thing's in the credits roll. This is fun. It's fun for me. It is not the good thing that he's be back in. Because this is the game I've played countless times. Beaten countless times. Then you know. There were some interesting new bosses here, and I know there's probably a couple more for Knuckles. But I haven't gotten to see since Knuckles has his own story. And I don't need to do a Knuckles run in this game, because I've never actually done a Knuckles run in the three Knuckles. I just feel like I need to do it at some point in the future. But, again, this is still a game I hold very dear to heart of heart. Easily, I eat top three game for me. Definitely one of my favorite 2D games in the franchise. As much as it goes back and forth between either this or Mania, and Advance 3 is due to my heart in the next spot after, but... I highly recommend anybody play Sonic 3 if you want to play any 2D Sonic game. I feel like it's Probably the easiest to get into, it's got the most to offer. Mania... I know people say Mania first because it's like the collect of all of them. It's like four fans. But I argue Mania is the least, probably a little more difficult to get into at the start of the world too. It doesn't ease you in as easily. I think there's something here for everyone, so... As a Sonic fan, I'd probably say if you wanted to play a Sonic game intensely, probably start with two. And I know the debate is between the two D games is either two or this one. But I definitely give the edge to this one. So. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a game that continues to offer all these years later. And air only kind of makes that even easier. So I'd say if you want to play a 2D Sonic game and wasn't sure which one to start, I'd probably say do this through Sonic 3 Air, because it offers a lot. Like, we have the mods here, so... There's a lot to offer here. Of course... This one also has achievements, you unlock achievements, you can unlock secret stuff. Some of these I should have already, but I guess my re my page reset, so. Some of these are actually really difficult as well. Easy back in, and we've been going for nearly three and a half hours. I wanted to pick something to end on. But, uh, let's do end of stream stuff here as we try to get out of here and potentially find our right target. back, uh, it'll be our normal stream schedule, so next stream will be Friday, where we, uh, 
Well, we'll be going back to Persona 4 Golden finally, because we're behind on that, and then we need to catch back up. So that'll be Friday. Uh, next week will mostly be the same, but there's a bonus stream that I'm actually thinking about adding on Tuesday. That'll be early on Tuesday. Plan going for it. Next stream is Friday. There's gonna be a bonus stream on Tuesday, and then we'll be here on Wednesday. I'll probably make up for hacking contest on Wednesday. We'll probably do those. I know it's kind of a bad look doing so much Sonic, especially since we just did the Sonic thing today. But hacking contest was kind of planned, and I need to make up for that. So there'll probably still be next Wednesday. I don't know why these streams, these one you stream with the Sonic stream. I'd, be, I'd probably do a short change sometime soon, but... I don't want to do a short change until I actually get the layout and stuff and something down for that. So... That still needs to be a hole, but another one is in the works. But, enough on that. Let's send ourselves out of here. Uh, I think I've got a rate target down. What do we got for a hashtag, though? We did do Stone 3 air, and we did get away with Hypersonic. Uh, there was also the fact that the game crashed the Mushroom Hill Zone for some reason. I think that's what I guess the hashtag is gonna be. I feel like the first thing I'm gonna read is gonna know it's gonna be fine with this. That's for who we're gonna read. Normally I have more targets than this, but things are kind of a special case right now. I'm gonna go raid my buddy Juker. He's going through eternal darkness right now for Halloween. I actually think of a spooky game to do for Halloween. I'm running out of time. But, uh, you guys showed you my love, be nice to him. Uh, thank you for coming around. Thank you for the raids, Ben and Yuna. It's good to, it's good to see those. Next stream is Friday. We'll be doing Persona 4 Golden again, finally, for game clearing. So we can catch back up. Uh, you all have a good night. Please take care.